This is the 2017 Trend 23D by Winnebago Industries. Based upon a Dodge Ram Promaster chassis, it features a 3.6 liter V6 280 horsepower gasoline engine, getting somewhere around 12 to 14 miles a gallon out of this motorhome. Six speed transmission, aluminum wheels, tire pressure monitoring, front wheel drive, independent front suspension. Thermo panel construction on the walls, you can see a full length electric awning, the new graphic for 2017. As we come down the side, we have some hookups for TV on the outside as well as some power hookups. You can see the on-demand tankless water heater. Rear ladder so you can have access to the roof, which is one piece fiberglass. As we come around the other side, this motorhome uses a traditional set of RV dumps. There's the option to have a second AGM house battery mounted up underneath there. It also uses a gasoline generator. Since it's a gas motor, it uses a gasoline generator. You can see the outside shower, place to carry the sewer tube, power cord, black tank flush, water fill. All conveniently located on this side of the motorhome. So we go around, remember, we're right at 24 feet long, height is 10 feet 2 inches so it's one of the shorter motorhomes or smaller in stature. We come inside I have the front slide room already out on it you can see the pedestal table with the sofa. In the cab area both driver and passenger seats do swivel. It uses the Dodge Uconnect system in the dash which gives you AM, FM, satellite radio Here's one of the seats swiveled. The backup monitor is actually up in the mirror. There is a blackout shade for the skylight here. Again, it's an automotive style piece of glass. Overhead cabinets, separate refrigerator, freezer. When we take a look, you'll see that there are plugs, 110 and USB power plugs everywhere in this motorhome. MCD blackout shades. Nice big stainless sink. I have the table up between the twin beds back in the back. So you can have twin beds sleeping in this motorhome. Now what I've done is I've actually taken the sofa and folded it out as if it was a bed. So that's the secondary sleeping location in here. Now, I've used the two pieces of the table. In addition, you use the two cushions and fill in here, and there's crossways sleeping. Then to get to the bathroom at the back of the coach, you just hop off the back of the bed. You can see here's where the two tables would be stored when you're going down the road. Very convenient. One on the bottom, one on the top. On the other side, it lifts up, and there's attachment points for all three of the table pedestals or poles. You can see the Froley Springs, which act kind of like a foundation for a mattress. Linoleum all the way back. Both sides of the heads of the bed tilt up. Again, you're seeing more USB charging outlets on either side of the motorhome. Some cubby hole storage there as well, which come in handy at nighttime. The bath area, sink, convenient shelf, shower, has molded in storage on the side of it. Skylight also has a hanging bar in there. On the other side you can see the toilet as well as again noticing some baskets, a water pump switch back here. You have a medicine cabinet. On the other side here you have a closet. Doors are finished inside and out with the high gloss. Most of this stuff that's in this closet is it's the cab mats and things that go outside so it's actually a pretty good size area for hanging space or you could just store items in here. Again you're seeing the ultra high gloss in there. There's that water pump switch for convenience. A couple of drawers in here. A very very good use of space in this bath area. We look back towards the front. The Trend 23D.